Dusty Baker doesn't have a contract for 2018. Catherine Frey, the Washington Post, Dusty Baker made his way through the Nationals clubhouse in the wee hours Friday morning, through the familiar dejection of another abrupt ending to another promising playoff run, to bid farewell to his players. He got to Matt Albers, and they hugged. Hell of year, Baker, told the relief pitcher, whose career as a national began as a spring training invitee and ended with a perfect fourth inning in Washington's Game 5 loss to the Cubs. In many ways, it was a hell of a year for Baker, too. The Nationals overcame a series of significant injuries to win 97 games and claim their second straight National League East title under his watch. He moved into 14th on the managerial career wins list. 12 of the 13 ahead of him are in the Hall of Fame. There's a chance he'll become the first African American inducted as manager one day. But the Nationals also fell one win shy of the National League Championship Series again, and Baker now has lost 10 consecutive games with a chance to advance in the postseason. A World Series title still eludes him after 22 seasons as manager. Whether he'll get a 23rd chance remains uncertain because Baker ISNT under contract for next season. Throughout the season, Baker repeated he wants to return for 2018, and Nationals officials repeated they want him to do so. But the club also decided to postpone contract extension talks until after the season, leaving open the possibility that a foul finish could change the outlook. Could the communication mess surrounding Steven Strasburg's status for Game 4 and Thursday's excruciating Game 5 loss have flipped Baker's fortunes? Baker is revered in the Nationals clubhouse for his ability to communicate and relate with his players. He was the second choice to replace Matt Williams two years ago, but he was exactly what they needed to succeed the uptight Williams. He loosened the clubhouse. Players enjoy playing for him. After Thursday's loss, a few players were asked if they wanted Baker back in 2018. The answers ranged from no comment to ringing endorsement. That decision is made from up top right fielder Bryce Harper said. I don't want to comment on that really. I would love to have him back, Nationals shortstop TREA Turner said. We won 95 games last year, 97 this year. Fun to be around, but that is not my job. I think Dusty's obviously great, first baseman Ryan Zimmerman said. The whole coaching staff. Those guys work their butt off to get us ready. They do such a good job of making sure that they relate to us. Ask us everything, not just baseball-wise. That's a great group of guys in there. They're as much deserving of all the success we have as we are. They probably work harder than us to be honest with you. So it's a pleasure to be with that staff. I think everyone in this room will love to have all of them back. Baker will turn 69 years old next June. Unless a team hires an older manager, a very unlikely possibility, Baker will be the oldest manager in baseball next season if he returns, now that the Mets have fired Terry Collins. The Nationals are poised to make another run at it next year, Harper's final season before hitting free agency, with most of their team intact. Will Baker lead them? Read more coverage. Why does this happen? The existential crisis of the D.C. sports fan bog for D.C. sports fans. A familiar refrain for nationals, a crazy night ends in anguish. Boswell, an unforgettable night, at once ugly and beautiful ode to disappointment. A Nets poem from the D.C. sports bog. More heartbreak as Nets fall in a playoff classic. 98 nationals hurt by crucial missed call in calamitous fifth inning for vanquished Nets. An inning that will live in infamy best and worst from NLDS Game 5.